So uh, the guitar is the next stop uh, is with Kyle Micho, who is uh, just graduated this year from uh, Syracuse. And uh, he is 22, right? Yeah. Nod if I get that right, Kyle. You got it. Um, and uh, I'll have him play his songs and then we'll chat a little bit. So this is Kyle Micho. <laughs> What a good dream Everyone free Floating with me In the jet stream There were patterns and lights Kaleidoscope
that was a song I wrote for the acoustic guitar project. It's called Cosmic Dream 116. The song's a little bit shorter. I wrote it a long time ago. It's about the morning. It's called AM. That is Kyle Mitchell. Uh, great to see you and and hear you, great Kyle. To see you too. So I I have known Kyle a few years, and I first encountered him in my own uh, through my own teaching at SU. Yeah. Uh, I teach courses on songwriting and creative writing over there, and uh, met Kyle that way, and uh, was so impressed with his uh, with his oh, writing, and thanks. so it's a been a been a, a cool thing to uh, reconnect and have part of this project. Um, so um, I believe you have some uh, ties to some former project songwriters too, right? Like Todd Hoban and oh, yeah. maybe Bob Halligan Jr. Oh, as yeah. well. Yeah. So what 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 are your connections there? Well, Todd Todd saw me playing at a um, a music festival when I was very young. Well, younger than now, I was 15 or 16, and um, we became friends through that. He he's got a studio in Baldwinsville, 
and my friend Shane worked there too and I had some other friends who were in the same circle and so through through Todd I was able to record some stuff there and become friends with his whole family and and I'm grateful for everything he's done for me and that, actually I met Nate in Todd's studio too hmm. in one of those years um, and then Bob was running the student record label I was on when I was at Syracuse and he is a a big Beatles fan like me, and I walked in that first day with my Beatles shirt on, and since then, it's been good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Bob and Bob until uh, recently, just a couple of years ago, was was teaching songwriting at at Syracuse as well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, both Bob and Todd wrote uh, great songs for the project. So uh, you mentioned the Beatles. You have such uh, interesting. Um, chords interesting harmonies in your songs i'm wondering uh what maybe are some of your sources of that sources of, of where you think you got your kind of vo harmonic vocabulary from oh yeah i rip it straight from the beatles everything's <laughs> taken right from it no i i uh well i'm just a product of everything that's come in and they're one of the main ones they're some of the best ones best songwriters out there i love bob dylan the velvet underground elliot smith I was thinking Elliot Smith because he yeah. was a real genius with chords and, yeah. and melody, too. Yeah. Melody is everything, and chords don't hurt. <laughs> so uh, wh how old were you when you started uh, playing guitar and writing songs? Well, I was I mean, 10 or 11 years old, and I was out with my birthday money buying Lego sets at Target. And I couldn't find the one that I liked, but I had my birthday money, you know, it was Target gift cards. And my mom pointed to this guitar that was there, really cheap, really cheap guitar, and said, you, you should, you should think about getting this. And I was like, oh, no, I don't, I don't have any interest in that. Why do I want to do that? But I did. I think it came with a free subscription to Rolling Stone for a year, so that, that might be why I got it. And I started writing weirdly before I knew how to play because I had the songs. I was hearing the songs. I just uh, didn't have a way to play them until eventually I'd, I'd learned. Wow. So if you'd gotten a Lego set, you would have been in the <laughs> architecture school and oh, it all would, would have been different. Oh, it would have been so good. It would have been the best <laughs> legendary Lego builder. But I blew it. <laughs> I blew it, Jeff, and now here I am. <laughs> so you, uh, um, so what was your degree from uh, SUN? You just graduated in the spring? It was screenwriting. Um, it was uh, basically a four-year practice in storytelling, and I got to travel. I got to live in New York City and London and L.A. for three months each when I was in college, and that, and that was really, um, really helped fundamentally shape where I've gotten to now. Uh, the, de the degree was more of a space for practice and kind of like a an introduction of structure that's used now, you know. Um, it was kind of like a parallel thing that I, I was doing the songwriting thing, but on another track I was doing that too, and I got to do all of it at once, and it made my perspective that much wider. And are you hoping to, to stay on that path or that dual path? And I can certainly relate to the writing and music dual yeah. path, since that's what I do. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know that. Um, whatever comes out, I'm just trying to be fully present in every moment that happens and uh, listen to myself, trust myself, and trust what's going on. And that's it. And heading west. I and heading west, at yeah. At some point? Hopefully. When it's possible it's, to, it's not up head to places again? It's up to, it's up to some other people, but we'll see what happens, hopefully yeah. soon. All right. So um, I know you've got a, a fair amount of music that's out there and uh, various platforms. Um, so where can people find out, find your music? Spotify, Apple Music, um, maybe in a CD in your grandma's basement. Probably not there. No, um, I've got a new, I've got a new, some new music coming out soon, hopefully. Um, and it'll all be on Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, whatever. You name it. There'll probably be new ones by the time it's out. <laughs> All right. And is that close coming soon? Oh, I hope so, Jeff. I've, uh, this year's been so crazy. Yeah. 
like I said, present moment. Yes. We'll, we'll see. When, it'll come that's, when it comes. And that's it'll be the uh, attitude I think just the right have time. to take. Yeah. It's been a year of figuring it out at the last minute. <laughs> oh, yeah. For everything. Oh, yeah. So, all right, great. Well, um, uh, good, to, good to have you here. Thanks for playing. This is, uh, Thanks for having me. again, Kyle Mitchell. Thank you.